Ever wondered how to turn a disagreement into an opportunity? In today's Idea Express, we dive into the world of negotiation guided by the book, Getting to Yes. This masterstroke of a book, written by Roger Fisher, William Urey, and Bruce M. Patton, is an essential guide for anyone who finds themselves talking to people. That's right, it's not just for those big business deals. It's a journey into understanding what's important to the other person, turning arguments into chances to solve problems. Instead of a tug of war, getting to yes teaches us to see negotiation as a dance, where each step is about understanding, respect, and mutual benefit. It's simple, it's powerful, and it's transformative. Curious about how to implement the ideas from this book? We'll tackle three insightful concepts and uncover practical techniques for putting them into action effectively. Here we go. Imagine walking into a negotiation, not as a battlefield, but as a joint problem-solving process. That's our first concept, collaborative negotiation techniques. Picture this, instead of a tug of war, you're at a round table working together. You're not just focusing on what you want, but what everyone wants. And the key to achieving this? Separate the people from the problem. Keep relationships intact by maintaining a courteous attitude, even when disagreements arise. Then create a shared goal. Recognize that you're all in it together, aiming for a solution that leaves everyone satisfied. And before you settle, brainstorm. Encourage creativity, be open to different ideas, and explore multiple options. The result? A solution that's not just a compromise, but a win for all parties involved. So next time you're in a negotiation, remember, it's a team game. Focus on solutions that benefit everyone involved. Conflict is often part and parcel of negotiation. But what if we could turn conflict into a chance for resolution? Welcome to our second concept, conflict resolution strategies. This concept is all about identifying the underlying interests of both parties. It's not just about what's on the surface, but what truly matters to everyone involved. This could be anything from personal values, long-term goals, or even just basic needs. By focusing on these shared interests, we can find areas of agreement that can serve as a foundation for building a solution. But how do we evaluate these solutions? That's where objective criteria come into play. Instead of relying on arbitrary decisions, we use fair standards, be they legal, ethical, or professional, to evaluate potential solutions. So when conflicts arise, remember to look beneath the surface, find common ground, and use fair standards. You might just find a resolution that satisfies everyone. Can you recall a time when using objective criteria helped you resolve a conflict more effectively? How did focusing on shared interests and common ground change the outcome of a challenging situation? We'd love to hear your stories and insights on this. Share your experiences in the comments below and let's learn from each other's approaches to collaborative negotiation. Negotiations aren't just about what's on the table. They're about the people around the table too. So our third concept is understanding both parties' interests. This concept reinforces the importance of not just hearing, but actively listening to the other party. It's about seeking to truly understand their needs, their concerns, and then reflecting back what you've heard to confirm your understanding. But it doesn't stop there. Acknowledge the other party's interests as legitimate, even if you don't necessarily agree with them. This shows respect for their perspective and paves the way for cooperation. Finally, seek to satisfy the underlying interests of both parties. Look for ways to fulfill what each party truly wants and needs, rather than simply compromising on positions. So, next time you're negotiating, remember to listen, acknowledge, and seek to satisfy. It's not just about getting what you want, it's about understanding what everyone needs. So, we've explored the world of negotiation through the lens of getting to yes. But how does this all tie together? We've discovered that collaborative negotiation techniques allow us to view negotiations as a shared problem-solving process. We've learned to separate the people from the problem, to create shared goals, and to brainstorm multiple options for solutions. Conflict resolution strategies have shown us the importance of identifying underlying interests to find common ground. We've seen the value of focusing on shared interests and using objective criteria to evaluate solutions. Finally, Understanding both parties' interests has taught us the importance of active listening, respecting different perspectives, and seeking to satisfy underlying interests rather than compromising on positions. These concepts are not just theoretical ideas, but practical tools we can use in our daily interactions. Remember, negotiation isn't a battle. It's a journey towards understanding, problem-solving, and mutual satisfaction. With these concepts from getting to yes, 
you're well equipped for your next negotiation journey. Ever wish the wisdom of your favorite books could seamlessly translate into your daily life? Jump on board the Idea Express. Each review comes with three tailor-made, actionable steps drawn right from the book's core insights. Steps you can instantly infuse into your personal and professional life. Subscribe to Idea Express today and learn something new tomorrow.